beans. Beans? Yeah, well, I, uh, we bought uh, futures at five cents, and uh, war came along, and uh, well, uh, so the price went sky high. So, um, that's for you. And it's all the money you lost in the lettuce business. And that's for you, and I... I made it for you. Cal, you will have to give it back. No, I, I made it. I made it for you, Dad. I, don't, I, I want you to have it. You'll have to give it back. Who? I can't give it to Ooh. the people you got it from. No, British purchasing agency. I can't give it back to them. Then give it to the farmers you robbed. We didn't rob anybody. That we, we paid two cents a pound, two cents over the market for that stuff. Cal, I sign my name, and boys go out, and some die, and some live helpless without arms and legs. Not one will come back untorn. Do you think I could take a profit from that? Please I don't want it. the money, Cal. I couldn't take it. I, I thank you for the thought, but I'll keep it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up and we'll, we'll just keep it in here. And then we'll, I'll yeah, never we'll, take we'll, it. Son, I'd be happy if you'd give me something like, well, like your brother's given me, something honest and human and good. Don't be angry, son. If you want to give me a present, give me a good life. That's something I could value. Mm -hmm. Cow! <laughs> I'm getting on, getting on pretty well here, Mama. I'm happy here, too. Who's there with you, George? It's me, Mama. Who was that? Just, just a girl, Mama. No, Mama. I don't... Mama, I just met her. Yes, Mama. I will, Mama. I know you'll be a good son. I promise. Goodbye, Mom. Did you promise to be a good boy? Not to waste your time on girls? I don't waste my time. Will she let you go out tonight? Will she let you go dancing? Come on. I'll take you dancing. On your birthday, blue boy. You must be Stanley. I'm Blanche. Oh, you're still sister. Yes. Oh, hi. Yeah, where's the woman? In the bathroom. Oh. Well, where are you from, uh, Blanche? Uh, I live in Oriole. Oriole. Oriole, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right, Oriole. That's not my territory. Man, look, it goes fast in the hot weather. You want a shot? Uh, no, I, I rarely touch it. Well, there's some people that rarely touch it, but it touches them often. Uh -huh. Hey, you mind if I make myself comfortable? My shirt is sticking. Please, please do. Be comfortable. That's my motto, where I come from. It's mine, too. It's hard to stay looking fresh in hot weather. Why, why I haven't washed or even pulled it. Here you are. Well, you know, you got to be careful. You're sitting around a damn thing gets you cold. Especially when you've been exercising hard like bowling is. Well, you're the uh, teacher, aren't you? Yes. What do you teach? English? Well, I never was very good English student. How long are you here for? Well, I don't know yet. You gonna, you gonna shack up here? I thought I would if it's not inconvenient for you all. Yeah. Traveling wears me out. Well, take it easy. Stop! Oh, those cats. Uh, 
Hey, Stella. What'd you, what'd you do, fall asleep in there? Huh? Well, I guess I'm going to strike you as being the unrefined type, huh? You know, Stella spoke a good deal about you. Uh, she said you were married once, weren't you? She said you were married. Yes. Well, I was quite young. Is that what happened? Is that what happened? Boy. The boy died. I'm afraid I... Can I have a silk nightgown with rose buds on it? I'm afraid you'll have to rough it tonight. In these. Good job. Sorry, honey, but I haven't worn a nightgown in years. Will you help me get undressed, please? Okay. Uh, there you are. You can handle the rest. May I have some? No. Now, look. This is very unusual. I've never been alone with a man before, even with my dress on. With my dress off, it's most unusual. <laughs> I don't seem to mind. Do you? I think I'll go out for a cup of coffee. Mm. You'd better get to sleep. Mm. No, no, no. On this one. Terribly nice. Hey, hey. These are pajamas. They're to sleep in. You're to climb into them. You understand? Thank you. Then you do your sleeping on the couch, see? Not on the bed. Not on the chair. On the couch. Is that clear? You know my favorite poem. Uh, you already recited that for me. Arethusa rose from a couch of snows in the Acroceronian mountains. Keats. Shelley. Keats. You just keep your mind off the poetry and on the pajamas. Everything will be all right, see? Keats. I'll be, it's Shelley. I'll be back in about ten minutes. <laughs> I think I made my mistake when I tried to tell you about Skipper. That's where I made my fault. Maggie. Uh, I never should have confessed. Maggie, now you shut up about Skipper. I mean it. You've got to shut up about Skipper. The laws of silence won't work about that. Not about Skipper and us. It, it, it's like locking the door on a fire in hopes of forgetting the house is... Hey, everybody! But not looking at a fire doesn't put it out. This time, I'm going to finish. That night in the hotel room... Skipper and I, we... I don't want to hear about it. Why won't you face the truth just once about Skipper, about me, about yourself? Hey, everybody. Brig, honey. Are hey, you going to bring that party up here or not? Kid and caboodle, son. That hey, won't do Big any Dad, good. Hoover, Maggie, I'm going to say this, and I don't care if it's in front of them. Maggie. Do you want me to hit you with this crutch? You're still blaming me for Skipper's death? Now don't you know that I could kill you with this crutch? Good Lord, man, do you think I'd care if Skipper you did? Skipper and I had a friendship. Now, why won't you let it alone? It's got to be told. But I don't want to hear it. It's got to be told, and you never let me tell it. I love you, and that's worth fighting for. Not Skipper. Skipper was no good. Maggie. Maybe I'm no good either. Nobody's good. But Brick, Skipper is dead. And I'm alive. Maggie. Maggie, the cat is alive. I'm alive. Why are you afraid of the truth? Truth? <laughs> Little girl, somebody ought to teach you to knock before you open a door. Uh, otherwise, people might think that you're, you're lacking in good breeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's 
Uncle Brick, do it on the floor. I tried to kill your Aunt Maggie. <laughs> but I failed. And I fell. Little girl, would you hand me my crutch, please? What were you jumping high hurdles for? Because I used to jump them. And people like to do what they used to do after they've stopped being able to do it. That's right. And that's your answer. Now go away, little girl. Stop! That you little no-neck monster! You're just jealous because you can't have babies. You see? Me and Gooper gloat over us being childless. Even in front of their little no-neck monsters. Yeah, my man. 